and welcome back. Today's video is all about ignition timing on the hydrogen engine that we're working on here. So, as you might be aware, hydrogen has a very fast flame front and combusts extremely quickly. So, using standard ignition timing on your petrol engine um, is going to be no good for the hydrogen. It will run, we've seen it run in the past in previous videos, um, but it will damage the engine over time, causing knock. When we disassembled this engine, uh, we could see the side effects of that knock. Um, so, you need to retard the ignition timing. It's very important. It's one of the most important parts of any hydrogen engine. You need to set the uh, ignition to top dead center. And that's what I've done here with this engine. Since the last video, I've now added the aluminium lightweight flywheel, which is capable of 10,000 RPM. Uh, and I've moved the coil up using a bracket. By moving the coil up in this direction, uh, around the circumference of this flywheel, we're actually retarding the ignition timing. The standard ignition timing on this engine is something around like 30 degrees. Uh, it's now set to three degrees past top dead center. You can run at top dead center, but I'm gonna be extra safe and have it set to three degrees after top dead center to allow for that piston just to rock over, rock over before it starts pushing back down, before the ignition goes off. This should give me a nice clean setup. I can put the original shroud back on the engine now, like so. All you have to do is have a small cutaway around the actual shroud to allow for this coil to be moved up otherwise it would hit the actual metal here. So to actually make this bracket, all I used was a piece of aluminium, uh, shaved away some material on the actual coil pickup legs here, and it would bolt straight on. So the only tools that are needed for setting the ignition timing on an engine like this is a flash gun. It's basically a strobe light, which connects up to your spark plug, a degree wheel for connecting onto the seat back of the engine, like so here and with that you can set the ignition time you're also going to need a piston stop like this or a metal one you can also use old spark plugs i'm not going to go into massive detail on how i set this ignition timing because there are much better videos out there that you can follow in fact i'll put the video i used in the description below so you can see um how i set this up so all I had to do to set the ignition timing without going into too much detail was set a mark or mark point on top of the flywheel with a marker pen, uh, connect the strobe light up to the spark plug, use a drill to spin the flywheel over and then that strobe light will flash against the top of the flywheel and you'll be able to see that line. When you see the line, you can mark it on the crankcase. Remove the drill so the flywheel stops spinning. Turn the flywheel round until you line up those two marks. When you have those two marks lined up, and of course with the degree wheel attached on the other side, it will then tell you where the, um, the ignition timing is once you've correctly set this up. Again, highly recommend if you want to um, set the ignition timing on small engines like this, for your hydrogen project, use the video below. Um, he's, he's, he's a great guy at explaining what to do. Let's take a closer look at this ignition coil bracket that I've made. Okay, so this is a very basic aluminium bracket. I've used the standard stud here that um, allowed for the, the ignition coil to originally mount onto. So for reference, this ignition coil here is actually all the way down here. This pickup point was here, and so I've offset it by this distance that you can see here. And that's done via the aluminium bracket on the side. Now, sadly with this bracket design, it does leave a lot of play in the actual coil. And that's because there is uh, no fixing point up at the top. I'm gonna to be reworking this engine in the future to allow for a fixing point or a modified bracket to pick up on this mounting point up here, which is originally for the aluminium cover. Apart from that, it's just a straight piece of metal. 
that follows the curvature of the flywheel to allow safe distance for the coil and the flywheel so they don't touch or make contact during operation. And right now this engine is set to around three degrees after top dead center. And that is pretty much it for ignition timing on a hydrogen engine. So ignition timing set to top dead center or slightly after top dead center if you want to be extra safe. Uh, very simple to do, but it's one of the most important parts of your hydrogen engine build. Because if you don't do it, you'll knacker your engine. Next time, we'll be finishing the engine off and giving it our first test run. All you need to do is add the oil, add the carburetor back on, the hydrogen carburetor, and we're good to go. See you next time. Cheerio.